creating your brand Pinterest account. In this lesson you're going to learn how to create your brand Pinterest account and how to update the profile and add some initial content. Your brand Pinterest account is more about brand recognition than launching your products. However, it is still a viable option for doing promotions. Add to that the ease of adding content and it becomes another valuable asset for your brand. So all you need to do is go to Pinterest.com. It's going to ask you to log in and obviously you haven't got your account yet. If you're logged into Facebook, it will let you do it through Facebook. We don't recommend you do that. But you want to sign up with Google. Now you're going to get a message saying Pinterest would like to know, know your age, range and language. Just click allow and it will bring you to this page. Now just pick five topics. If you can find five that are related to your brand, great. If not, just pick five general products. So I'm going to go for food and drink, home decor, because it's kind of related to kitchens, recipes, fitness, and DIY home decor, and then click done. Now the Pinterest browser button is just a browser button that gets added to your browser to make it easier for you to pin content. You can go ahead and do this if you want, but for now I'm just going to skip this. And then it's telling you it's just going to build your feed. And there you go, it's created your feed. And this is basically pins from other people, and pins are pretty much like tweets, it's just content from other people, but they're images. Pinterest is basically all about images. But we're going to go to our profile. It's the normal profile icon up at the top right. We're going to click on it. And this icon up here, I'm assuming it's a nut, at least that's what we call it in the UK. I'm not sure what you call it, where you are, but we're going to click on it. And we're going to go to profile just to check what our URL is. And you can see there it's Charter Kitchen, so that's all right. In the About You, we're going to actually use the same About information we used for our Facebook profile. But you can see it's only allowing 160 characters. So I'm just going to use the first line. Location, just put USA. And then website, we want to put in our website because it exists now. And in fact, while we're here, I'm just going to show you that our Wix account worked. Click paste and go. And then you can see our Wix account at charterkitchen.com. So that all looks good. I'm going to click on confirm website. And you want to copy this information here. It's actually called a meta tag, but copy it. You need to log into Wix and then, then open up the editor. And then at the top, hover over site and then click on site manager. And then in the left sidebar, you want to click on SEO and then scroll down and then paste your code into this box which says header code meta tags. So paste it in, close the box and click publish. And you'll actually notice that now it says charterkitchen.com because I've connected my domain. But then click done. And then once that's done, we go back to Pinterest and we click finish. Now they're still working on it, which means they might not be able to find the code yet, but they will find it. Sometimes it takes up to an hour and we click OK. Now, if you ever want to upgrade Pinterest to a business account, you will need this information confirmed. And with a business account, you can actually use Pinterest ads. Although, since it came out of beta, it's not performing as well as it was. And it's not something we recommend you get into straight away. Now, there's one last thing I'm going to do before saving this. And that is I'm going to change the name to my brand name. So that on my profile page, when people look at it, it says Charter Kitchen and not Rich Henderson. But once I've filled that in, and you fill this much in, click on Save Settings. And that's pretty much all we need to do for our profile. But what we need to do now is set up some boards. Think of boards as folders where you store images. And basically when you add images or pin other people's images, then you'll select a board for them to go in. So I'm going to click on Create Board, the plus sign. And we're going to give it a name. I'm going to create one with kitchen utensils. You can make your board secret, but there's no need to. And click Create. And this becomes your board. When you save pins to it, they'll appear here. I'm going to go back, I'm going to create another one. I'm calling this one Charter Kitchen. And this will be where we post images about our own products once they're up and running. But I'm just going to click Create. And again, it's created that. I'm going to go back. And you want to create three or four boards, two or three for related images, and one for your brand. So I'm going to create another one. I'm going to call this one Recipes. And the last one I'm just going to call Kitchens for now. And we want to start adding some content. You can go and find images, but there's a really quick way of adding some content to your Pinterest account to start with, and that is to use the search option. You can see here, it's actually listing the boards we created. I'm just going to click on Recipes, and it's going to show you all these pins that have been pinned by other people. And then all you actually need to do is hover over it. If you think it looks decent, click on Save. You can see it's got the pin icon next to it. Then you choose which board to put it in. So this one will go in recipes. And we've actually added that to our recipes board. I'm going to add two or three. Again, click on recipes. 
and Parmesan garlic spaghetti sounds nice so I'm going to click on save and again it's going to go in recipes and there you go we've got three in recipes so now I'm going to search for kitchen I like this sign I'm going to add that I'm going to put it in kitchens I'm just going to add one more the whole point of Pinterest is actually having interesting looking images that will attract people and that can go viral as well and I'm just going to grab one more and put it in kitchens okay so I'm going to change the search to kitchen utensil it's a nice looking image click on save again kitchen utensils go back to my profile you'll now see that I've got content in three of my boards and you just want to keep on doing this add one or two every day to each board you can add more boards they don't have to be all related but that's pretty much how you set up your Pinterest account and start adding content so I'm all happy with my account I've set my account up I've edited the profile page and I've started adding content so what's next so you've learned how to create your brand Pinterest account in the next lesson you will learn how to take your brand assets to the next level action create your brand Pinterest account but that's it for this lesson take care